touches in that first half of football. The Pies by 13 points. Well, Loins went to Malloy to start the game, so good to see it back on again. Here we go, second half at Icon Park, Sunday afternoon football, Collingwood by 13 points. Neither Ruckman got a go at it. Benici tried to slap it in the Malloy direction. She hunts it and gathers it now. A little bit of time to turn. Have a look and use it laterally towards Rowe. Got a bad bounce. Dalton got a hand on it. Rowe will get run down from behind. Spills out to Leighton. She gets boot to ball towards half forward. Mark taken by Allen. Pies have shown poise with ball in hand this afternoon. Allen delivers inside 50. Over the back came Harrington. At the front was Can. Lane emerges with the football, couldn't get an effective handball. Can to Allen, tries to spin through a tackle, gets it to Butler. In fact, it was Darcy. Darcy goes in the memory direction. Jess Hosking, a two on two. Can memory sneak out the back with the outside of the boots? Harrington gets back. Goes towards Stevens. He's been quiet, just a couple of possessions in the opening half against her old club. She's someone you could maybe look at sending back to create a bit more drive out of their defence. They've, they've hung on pretty well for the amount of inside 50s Collingwood have had, but a lot of that's due to the numbers they're getting back there. Someone like a Stevens, who's a good one-on-one -on -one player and a, a good kick as well, could go down there, do a job, and also create a bit of drive from, from defence. Two touches for Stevens, just three for Vessio in the first half. Two of the most experienced players as Lambert receives. Tidy little left foot kick towards half forward. And Can's been really impressive. Lambert kept running, takes on Pound, flips it over the top to Darcy, was maybe looking to get it back. She wheels onto her favoured left, has a shot and just hits the outside of the post. I don't think Katie Loins is maybe quite bright uh, after that, that knock that she copped in that second quarter on that leg. You could see that Jamie Lambert just ran straight off of there. She wasn't interested in the chase. Malawifi spins away from Sheridan, but uncertain of her options. Goes towards Dalton, too much on the kick, and she turns it over to Benucci. Collingwood's foot skills today and ball movement in general have been superior. That's been a big factor in their 13-point lead. Benucci towards Harrington and Darcy, and sneaking in at the back was Memory. Memory's looked good today as well. well she's going to kick here, but... Over the head of, Har of Allen and Lalawifi, taken by Harrington. Butler at the front, Stevens at the back, nicely read by Livingston from 48 metres. Sinks the boot into it, but Lalawifi has it, and Harrington, Harrington is calling for the bench. She's limping off. We'll keep an eye on it. She saw trotting to defensive 50 now. It's going to take her a minute or so to get off the ground. So both co-captains lane now for Carlton. This is the last thing they need with a couple of goal deficit in front of them. Lane goes short to G. And the Blues able to hang on to the football while they're a player down. Harrington still struggling to get to the bench. G towards Moody. Can she have a physical impact in this second half? Wins it here. Couldn't get an effective kick. Quick one from Membry towards half forward. Lalawifi tracks it back. Here's a chance for the Pies again. Sheridan did well. Drew the player. Dished the handball. Allen chips over the top. Kiochi coming in one direction. Wilson left it behind. Here's the dangerous Darcy. Just pushed off her kick. It was a great defensive effort from Pound. And Plain can gather. Puts it into the path of G and Membry. Membry will get there first. Does well. Turns G. Delivers inside 50 and finds Can. And it's some of these fringe players like Membry and Can have been really impressive. And Michaela Can a chance to go back in her sixth AFLW game and kick her first ever AFLW goal. She's got three behind so far in her career, the 19-year-old from Eastern under 18s and played in a premiership at Hawthorne in their VFL side. She was the youngest in that team. She's taken a decent run up here. Best part of 45 metres. She sets herself. This to open up a really handy advantage again for the Pies. From 45 out, she launches. It's not going to get there. It's going to spill to the front. Chance here for the Pies. Sheridan taken down by Egan. And the Blues survive. Let's have a look at their ball movement. This has been the big issue. Just haven't been able to string together fluent movement this afternoon. They kick to a contest here. Dalton over the back, Shield is hoisted high. Moody at ground level against Fowler. Malloy lurking there in support. It's a two on one Collingwood's way. Fowler did well. Handball not ideal. And the Blues arrive hard. 
to close it down. But once again, we see a blast kick out of defence from the Blues. Did well there just to hold it up and create a stoppage from it. That's a win, really, from Carlton to get a, a ball up on your wing. That's at boundary side. Sarah Hosking joins us. And Sarah, what was the message from half at half time? Um, I think we just needed to tighten up and use our ball movement. So at the moment we're bombing it long and, and not really hitting up those targets down the line. So if we can do that, their pressure has been really good and they're just getting out the front of the stoppage as well. So they're moving the ball quite quick and just getting it on the boot. So if we can close that down and then execute our kicks forward, we'll be back in it. One of your young players, Maddie Prisparkis, is getting a bit of attention again today, Sarah. As a team, are you doing anything to help her out or what's the plan there? Yeah, look, I think we need to do a little bit more for her. You can see she does. She gets a lot of attention most games and I think she is expecting that and that's probably her ne next step in her game is to make sure that she's ready for that. But as a, as a teammate, prepare her for it and, and protect her a little bit more. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate your time. We'll let you get back into the action. Thanks, guys. Long kick in from Pound. Doonan beaten for it by Livingston. It's just been a rock, but drops the football. She's got some support. Malloy looks to accelerate away from Doonan, gets a shepherd from Porter. And lovely delivery again, finds Can at half back. They've been poised with ball in hand today, Collingwood. As we've said a couple of times, they've worked a lot over the summer on just making good decisions and not being rushed, not panicking when you have it. And again, we see Alan there look for an option. She missed Kiyochi, but she spun the head around and had a look. Darcy. Pies winning more of the one-on-one -on -one contest at the moment. They're winning these scraps. Dargan's little handball to Casey. Out it goes. Throw in. Katie Loins checks back into the game. Get pound off. And Harrington back on as well with that right thigh heavily strapped. for company to stand strong gives it to Lambert into the path of Shevlin and or Butler Shevlin will get the receive now looks up she punches a handball to Rowe back to Shevlin great linking football from the Pies turns Jess Hosking around she's got a meter or two on Sheridan great footwork Hosking brilliant work and she gets it to Plain Plain to Dalton and that was wonderful from Jess Hosking Dalton's kick back towards the wing. Loins forces a contest. Butler wins it. Once again, the Pies win the scrimmage. Lambert. Can. Blues on the ropes at the moment. Collingwood circling. And this is Shevlin. Just that kick from Butler there to highlight that. That's what set up a lot of Collingwood's game. So from a contested situation, just to get a mark and then be able to reset the ground rather than blaze away. That's been the difference. McAvoy stood at the front. She's taken down by Alexander. Links up with Harrington. Can they get some run and flow from the back? Plain ripped off the kick by Lambert. Here's Dalton. This is what they're looking for. A bit of link run. Dalton grits her teeth. She's got some support. Pops it to Loins. Looks for body contact. Down she goes. It spills to McAvoy. And now Doonan. Off a step. Presparkus. Numbers with the pies. Butler. Again. Sizzling delivery. Finds Malloy. You're looking ahead of this Malloy kick here. Carlton with two extra defenders back. Part of that Collingwood getting high up the ground, but they have sagged numbers back a lot today, Carlton, and that's why when they kick it out of defence at, at ground level when the ball comes to ground, it's always Collingwood with the extra numbers. And they're still managing to pick holes in the Carlton zone, even though the Blues have got numbers back. You can get away with that st strategy against some teams, but a team like Collingwood that then chips the ball around, builds it back up, right back at you, and gets another deep injury, it's... It, it's hurting Carlton today. Wilson went the punch. Jess Hosking can't get it to Wilson. Dargan left it behind, slapped out by Alexander. Loins and Jess Hosking combine. Here's Loins now. She's confronted, couldn't get an effective handball. Chance here for Sheridan. Lovely twist and turn. She's a quick learner. Kicks it down the line. And it bounces out for a throw in. And the Blues have lost their forward structure ahead of the ball, Beck. It's, yeah. It's difficult to get back in game. How do you go about it? Yeah, I mean, they've got a couple of other troubles where they've had to get some people off to get some treatment as well. So uh, you're going to have to keep working. Uh, they're just going to have to find a way to work through this. But um, I'm, not, I'm not sure where the change is going to come. Dalton 
goes for distance again. Well played, Livingston. Took it on. Kicked it straight into Egan and then bowls her over. It'll spill to Sarah Rose. She's got Casey on the outside. Can't find her. Egan cuts it off. Brazali, Harris. Harris will kick it high down the line. Prisparkas underneath this football up against Brazil. Brazil takes the ball and Prisparkas takes her to the line. In game, a lot of it's just back to basics about winning your one-on-ones, winning the contest, picking up the ball cleanly off the ground because the reason numbers get all drawn into the contest is when you don't trust that your team's going to win it. You feel like you need to go in and help. Whereas if you start winning a few of those contests in close, you can hold. You, you trust that your teammate's going to win it and get it out to you, so you're not as inclined to rush up the ground to, to try and help. Still just three touches for Vessio and two for Stevens. Here's G looking to get involved. Goes towards Harris. She's had just the six touches as well. Livingston's been superb. This is her 11th coming up. In fact, it's Brazel there as well. And Harris takes it to the line, but the Collingwood defenders today have been so assured. Represented by... Uh, Livingston best probably I mean she's playing against one of the most athletic players in the competition in Taylor Harris and at no stage has she looked too slow too not strong enough she's gone with her every step of the way and even won a few of the one-on-one so brilliant game from her Chris Barkas the quick release ricochets inside 50 again Livingston's first to attack the ball here's a chance for G at the back flying shot a goal but Brazel we've spoken about Livingston and Brazel they both had a part to play there but Brazel's kick comes off the side of her boot. And it'll be a Carlton ball for Press Barkas. Blues need to rally here with less than four minutes remaining in the third. Press Barkas, too much on the kick, way too much for Brazali. It might work out okay. It spills at the back for McAvoy. She gathers. Here's Brazali. Already kicked one. Flying shot at goal. Just misses. It's funny what pressure does too, isn't it, Days? Like the fun will start to happen. It, it's almost a, like a catching disease. Absolutely. The pressure builds as, as the mistakes build up and that's what creates that sense of, oh, I can't really make space yet because she might not take it cleanly. Whereas when you execute that part of the game well, you, you're already making ground, heading back towards goal and setting up your positioning, knowing that your teammate's going to win it. Here's Vessio. Her kick only as far as Livingston. High ball back towards Moody and Leighton at ground level Dargan. Nice smother off her hands by McAvoy. Moody, Wilson, Jess Hosking. Drills it low to half forward. Playing in front was Casey on G. Little spill for Malloy. Again, just back pedals to give herself some time. So McAvoy comes at her. G. Benici tries to fend off a couple and gone. Two and a half minutes remaining. Can the Blues find something here? Egan, 60 from goal. Goes in the Stevens direction. Once again, Malloy in the best spot. Butler feeds it back to Brazel. Collingwood looking solid down back. Egan did well, good vertical leap, got a hand to it. Wilson at the back, lost her feet. Chance here for the Pies, Can Got it to Dargan. Now Sheridan. Good ball movement again. Alexander couldn't quite control it, but Sheridan's still there for support. Back to Benici. Off a step. Hosking's got to stand underneath this one. Numbers with the pies. Dargan's on the outside. Receives the handball now from Can. Looks up. Great smother from Harrington. Lambert comes through. Tries to win the football. Does so with strength. Umpire said it was a throw to Alexander. Oh, gee, Colin will look really good. Very dangerous. Just good awareness. They've had awareness of when they've got numbers around the ball and when to use the handball to, to use those numbers. Awareness of when Colin, uh, Carlton have folded back and they need to just find that, that relieving kick. It's been very static for the Blues, just kicking to contests. And we see once again, Pound straight to Leighton and she takes an uncontested mark. Thinking their way through things, Collingwood, really well. Carlton have not been able to find the answers so far. That kick from Leighton will pitch for Loins. McAvoy, now a chance for Dalton. She'll just get it and go. Gain some territory, pops it over the back. Can Stevens run onto it? She's got three to beat. Doonan's there as well. She gathers, puts her boot into it. Bouncing football just again, the wrong side of the post. The Blues have had a couple of almosts this afternoon. Margin back to 12 points. 
And that's right. Well, for all that we've said, it's a 12-point margin, and Tarleton have probably been unlucky with a couple. Socket off the deck, bouncing ball, and again, a and narrow again. miss. And, and another one. But, yeah, a few posters. The ball that seemed to bounce over and back into play that was paid a point. So a few of those things go their way, and neither of their captains get an injury early in the game, and they're, they're right in it. So Tarleton fans rallying. As their team tries to surge late, can they find one with 30 seconds left? It would really change the momentum heading to three-quarter time. Pound inside 50, an uncontested mark dropped by Doonan. Is that the opportunity loss for the Blues? It might be, because it's a Collingwood free kick. And they're the coach killers, Beck. Oh, they are. Could be an injury here. Players waving to the bench, Boyne's suggesting someone needs assistance. Look good. She's been in the wars all afternoon, Katie Loins. She's been in the wars her entire Ty career, <laughs> Katie Loins. She's an absolute warrior. And I, I must say that for every time last week people mentioned their brilliant young midfield, I thought, yeah, being held up also by a good performance from a not-so-young one. She's an absolute warrior, Katie Loins. She was superb. 13 touches, 11 contested last week. Just a battering ramp. And as you said, a true warrior of the game. Sheridan. Final seconds and the Pies will survive. In fact, they'll go to three-quarter time with confidence. They lead by 11 points. There's the bruised and battered Katie Loins. Collingwood by 11 points. This time last year, they led by 10 at three-quarter time and the Blues came over the top to steal it. One quarter to go at Icon Park. It's Collingwood 4-3-27. Carlton 2-4-16.